really this vehicle as a wagon is probably the best wagon on the market. Hi, I'm Lauren Fix. Welcome to another episode of The Car Coach. We're here at Pitt Races. You can hear the race cars going on behind me. Why in the world would I bring a Mercedes wagon to a racetrack? Because it is the 2018 Mercedes E63 S AMG wagon, and it's awesome. This vehicle has 603 horsepower, over 620 pound-feet of torque. It is a beast on the road. It is comfortable and it's even more fun on the track. Let's go for a ride. First impression when you purchase any car is can I live with this? Is this something that meets me, my lifestyle, everything that you do? Well, this macchiato leather interior is pretty impressive. It's beautiful. It's got the black roof, the cream leather interior, which is absolutely supple. It's beautiful. And on top of that, You've got a dash in front of you that they call two skateboards, which I don't think gives it enough credit. It's two 12-inch vertical screens that give you everything you need. Now that's impressive, but remember, we're talking about a Mercedes, so I didn't expect to get into a vehicle and be disappointed, and I'm not. Starting with seating comfort. There's so much seating comfort here. I don't care how you're built, what kind of problem you have. This is a fabulous vehicle. There's lumbar. Of course there's lumbar on both sides. There is on top of that massaging seats, heated massage, classic massage, invigorating massage. <laughs> so generally they have active or dynamic seating. So when you get into the corners, how you turn into a corner, how you might slide in the seat. Well, this will actually have the bolster come up and hug you so that you don't move in the seat. It's another cool option. Flat bottom steering wheel is great. Nice, grippy, beautiful leather wheel. Not too much in your face on the logo like the front of the car is, but it's a reasonable size. Your controls on your steering wheel are great. As you move over to the center deck, you have a 12 inch screen that is huge. It's got everything you need. You can split the screen. It shows you the speed limit. Many vehicles have this, but the quality and the crispness of this screen is excellent. I would say the only thing that's comparable would be the Audi and their virtual cockpit, which I'm a huge fan of. Going over to the audio system, it's Burmeister, and that's the same audio system that Audi offers as their premium brand. You can't say anything negative about that. Uh, it also has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which everyone else does as well. As far as all the connectivity, it's substantially easier to use than it was before. You still have to go through a couple different menus in order to get to what you want. But a lot of it is quite intuitive, and again, once you've owned this vehicle a while, you're probably used to it. Fuel economy on this car is 18 miles to the gallon combined. We got somewhere in that range on our trip, of course. We're driving 70 miles an hour now because that's the speed limit on the road that I'm on. So that's going to impact the fuel economy at a combined rate. So they're saying 16 in the city and 22 on the highway. Huge, gigantic roof uh, that opens up. It's panoramic, it's two-step. And I think that's really nice, especially the fact that you don't always want it open on a day like today. It's pretty bright, so I've got it closed. But when you open it, the roof is just beautiful. On the doors, this is kind of interesting. They have three stages of heated, three stages of cooling, and you can control the passenger side from the driver's side if you wish, or the passenger can do the same. Of course, you got three sets of memory seats on the driver's side and three on the passenger side. Everything is soft, closed doors. Everything is polished in detail. Really, this vehicle, as a wagon, is probably the best wagon on the market. Let's take a look at the back seat. Well, first off, there is tons of headroom, leg room. I mean, this is unbelievable how much room is back here. Put on a seat belt. You've got tons of comfort. You've got heated seats in the back on the door. Of course, it's beautiful inlaid wood. And then when you pull down the center console, you not just have storage, but you also have cup holders, which is nice. Back to the center over here, you can adjust the heat as well as the fan. And when you open up the little door down below, you have two different outlets. You have one for a regular alternating current, and then of course one for a 1.5 amp charging base for your phones or whatever kids have back here. Could I sit back here on a long trip? Oh, easily. Everything from the soft closed doors to the V8 twin turbo engine, this vehicle has everything you would need. You can drive this every day, year round. A set of snows, great Michelin tires during the summer. You've got an amazing ride all the way around. The vehicle comes in around $100,000, loaded all the way up the way this is, and you're about 100, just 
just under $140,000. Truthfully, this is a great deal. And shooting brakes or wagons are becoming more and more popular. Check out the other wagons, which are their competitors. We've driven them, including the Volvo wagon. Yeah, it doesn't have the same performance, but this car is awesome. I would definitely like to have this in my garage. What do you think? Put your comments down below. Make sure to follow us on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix. Sign up for Car Coach Reports at carcoachreports.com. Thank you for your support on our Patreon page. Check out our four minute Friday, our His Turn, Her Turn reviews. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell and we'll see you next time. I'm off to the track. It's time to have some more fun. See you later.